The Cloncurry River runs about 900 kilometres through the Gulf country of northwest Queensland. It's a tributary of the Flinders River, which is one of the major river systems in northern Queensland. In 1861, explorer Robert O'Hara Burke chose to name the river after his cousin in Ireland, Lady Elizabeth Cloncurry. First Nations people have lived in the area around the Cloncurry River for thousands of years. The river was an important source of water and food for those communities who would fish, hunt and gather along its banks. The river was also used for transportation with canoes and other vessels allowing people to travel up and down the river. Over time, the Cloncurry River has played an important role in the development of the region. The river provided a reliable source of water, which was crucial to the region's growth in the late 1800s and early 1900s. The river was also used by the market gardens, who dug their own wells to access water, even when the river dried up. The river's weir is a significant structure that provides a range of benefits to the local community and wider region. The weir location was first used as a low-lying bridge to cross the river. The pressures of drought and growing population created the need for better control of water supplies. Over the years, bridges were rebuilt, extended, and infrastructure put in place to create the weir of today, which has created a permanent water supply for Cloncurry while supporting local agriculture and industry. The Cloncurry River Weir has also important social and environmental benefits. It's a popular recreational area. It also supports a range of aquatic and bird life, creating important habitats for a variety of species. However, like many rivers, it faces a range of environmental threats during drought. Efforts are underway to protect and preserve the river and the surrounding ecosystem for future generations. <laughs>